Hi there guys and welcome back to their Southside New Beginner Guide. Today we're taking a look at the very agile Juri Han. Uh, she has a lot of good stuff, uh, great zoning character uh, with a lot of good rushdown opportunities once she gets in, gets that knockdown. Uh, we're going to talk about all that fun stuff and just how to play her and how to use Ultra 1, uh, which a lot of people have questions on. So let's get right into it. Uh, let's talk about her movement speed first. Why is she so quick? Well, her dash uh, forward is very good on its own. It gets even better when you're an Ultra 1, so that's not a bad reason to, uh, to get, get in. The back dash is really nice. It got, goes pretty far, uh, a lot of invincibility to it. It's not bad either. Uh, her walk speed is kind of average, I'd say. Uh, but her dive kick is really why she's so mobile. Uh, people are afraid to fireball even at full screen because she can dive kick over there really quickly. Uh, so it's a great tool to get in with Jury. Uh, let's see. We'll go right into her normals now. I like the kicks the best. That's, that's the one I usually use uh, just because it hits low. Uh, that's my primary combo is, is from the kicks. Uh, the punches aren't bad. Lot, I see a lot of people using the, the punch combos to get to, to some decent combos. But those require you to be standing. Uh, so for the most part I use the kicks. The light kick is really important because it's going to get to that pinwheel the fastest. So that's going to be uh, one of your best friends there. Uh, I think that's it for the light attacks. The medium attacks are a little bit more noticeable. The, the far standing one is a great poke on its own. It's very far. It moves her forward too. Uh, it's really fast. So you can catch a lot of people off guard with that one. I use that pretty frequently. Uh, the crouching medium punch is really nice. That's my favorite anti-air with Yuri. Also uh, really good in all her combos as well. So that's going to be a very good poke. Her medium kick is really nice, goes really far, the crouching one. Uh, it's going to be another great poke, another good option to get to that pinwheel. Um, the far standing medium kick is one of her furthest range normals. Uh, so that's going to be really good, 70 damage, but it's not special move cancelable. Uh, one last one I forgot about is the, the medium punch, uh, close standing. This is a good, good way to, to get to your fireball, uh, because it moves her forward, so it really keeps you in there. Uh, and it's just a nice normal, really shines in Ultra 1 as well. Uh, last medium we're going to talk about overhead there uh, actually deceptively far range it's not bad 70 damage doesn't hit twice so it's not gonna break focus attacks like Ryu's or anything uh, but it is really far and it's not bad uh, but it really shines in ultra one again because it's just uh, it, you can combo after it. It, it right now you cannot though so you gotta wait to be in a, to be an ultra to do that uh, moving right along to our fierce attacks uh, one of her best fierce attacks is that crouching fierce punch this is how you're gonna get most of your damage out of your combos just because it does the most and it's special move cancelable uh, the close standing fierce punch is a little weird. Uh, it's really just an anti air, not a very good one at that. It's just kind of nice because you can combo after it uh, with your your ex pinwheel. Uh, but again, it's not not that reliable. I wouldn't use it too much. Uh, her sweep is kind of cool because of the range. Uh, it has more range than that medium kick, so a lot of times you're stuck punishing with this. Uh, or after a hit, a hit fireball, sometimes you have to use this instead of using the uh, the medium kick. Uh, the far standing fierce is a little bit slow. It's good range though, good damage. Uh, I notice it's good if you think someone's gonna jump away from you if they've been constantly doing that or starting to dive kick like Rufus. Not a bad idea to throw it out there and try to keep them on the ground. Um, the close standing fierce kick, don't use it. It's just for ultra uh, and in combo. That's it. Uh, that's it for her move. Oh, this one sucks. I, I hate this one. It's anti air, but I, I never use it. I just don't. I just really don't like it. Even though the damage is very high on it, it's just kind of weird. Uh, let's go to her air now. Air Jury's got some really cool stuff in the air. We'll start first with the corner stuff. Uh, the light is a fake cross and the fierce is a fake cross. So that can be really tricky for your opponent. Uh, kind of mix those up um, and just try to land the, the combos after that. If you hit this in the air, you can't combo after it if you're, if you're in the max height. If you go lower though, it'll cross and you can combo after it. Uh, if you're in the middle of the screen, uh, your two cross options are the medium kick and the light kick. Uh, again, the light kick is a little bit tougher to combo from, so the medium kick is what I usually recommend for our beginning players. Uh, in the mid screen as well, uh, your basic move for all jump ins is always that fierce kick because it's the best. It has the best hitbox, uh, does the most damage. That's really the one you want to use for pretty much everything. Air to air too, it's your best move if you really want to win. Uh, if you're looking for damage though, the medium punch can be more damage because it combos to the uh, uh, in the air. That is, it combos to uh, your dive kicks. It combos to a lot of things. Uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate that really quick. So you can get to some cool combos uh, fr from this one. Oh, maybe they took that out. Now oh, there it goes. There you go. Something like that there. Um, you can also just do a straight pinwheel. Alright, you can do Ultra 2 if you want to sport Ultra 2. Um, that's pretty much it for that though. Um, so that's about it for Jury's uh, forward air stuff. Uh, we talked about everything. Good stuff. 
Um, yeah, the light punch is no good, but that's really it for her four jumping air. As far as neutral jumps, she's got a couple good options. On the ground, there's really two. This one is nice because it hits both sides, so this is a good one for pretty much everything. Uh, you know, I use it a lot just because I'm not sure if they're going to try to cross under anything. That's usually a good option. If you're looking for range, uh, the fierce kick does not have as much range as the medium kick. So the medium kick is your best option for range. So air to air, the medium kick is a good option if they're really far. Uh, however, the medium punch is a good air to air as well. Those, I usually just, just use those two as far as air to air. Alright. Uh, what else? I think that's about it for air. Going to her uh, anti airs now. Let's have Ken do some jump attacks. Oops. Uh, there we go. So, uh, like I talked about earlier, I love this medium punch. Uh, the more I use it, the more I love it. Uh, it really doesn't trade with anything. It's just it's just a great anti-air. Only loses to, like, I think Sakura's, like, jumping fierce punch. That's the only thing it, like, really loses to or it like, trades with, I've noticed. So that's really, really good stuff there. Uh, also, after, you can do a fireball charge, which is a lot of fun. Same thing with that crouching uh, fierce fierce uh, punch. You can go and charge a fireball after that as well. That's not a bad anti-air either. Uh, you got to throw it a lot earlier, though. And also, it does have a higher risk of trading. So really, that medium punch is a really good move to, to throw out there. Uh, this is the other anti-air, uh, the, the Fierce Punch. It's not bad uh, if you let let them wait until they're further in. I think you have better luck, but really, again, you're, you're looking at some pretty risky stuff there. Uh, if it does hit, though, you can land an EX Pinwheel. I think in the corner, you can even uh, do it on a, uh, on a trade. There you go. That's a good example of how you should use it if they're, they're crossing you up. Yeah, but that, that's really it. It's kind of very situational anti-air. But those are just her real anti airs. Oh, I forgot one. Shoot. The medium kick isn't that bad either. There you go. That one's not that bad either. Kind of similar to Guile's anti air. Uh, medium kick. That's it for anti airs. Uh, let's get right into her special moves then. Her dive kick is the first one we'll talk about. The dive kick, we're going to talk about why it's good for mobility. Let's talk about what you can do from it. Uh, so if you know it's going to hit for sure and you don't want to waste any meter, you can go ahead and just uh, finish it up with a kick, 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 kick. Uh, and that, that'll go and do your most damage. Uh, not most damage, but like just solid damage for no meter. Uh, if you want most damage, or you're looking at going and landing an EX Pinwheel, it's going to do your most damage uh, for one meter. Uh, in some situations, you can land Ultra 2 as well, which isn't that bad. Uh, for the most part, though, for free meter, uh, you just want to land that charged fireball. It's also going to give you a fireball to play with later. Some fun stuff there. Um, as far as dive kick strategies, uh, what you want to do is go ahead and just, uh, you know, if you've been doing a lot of jumping attacks or your, or your opponent, he's throwing a lot of, like, crouching fierce punch anti-airs, uh, go ahead and mix it up, throw in an EX dive kick, it'll mess up his timing, and you get some free damage off that. Um, also, you want to try to hit people in the feet if you can, because that's nice and safe. If you hit people in the head, you're going to be dead. So that's, remember that, feet, the feet is where it's at, the, as far as safety. If you hit him really far in the feet, you're not going to land, uh, sometimes you're not going to land that, that fireball damage. Um, but, but that's okay, so you, the important part is really just getting in and getting that knockdown. That, that's the important part, so you get your mix up with the cross, fake cross kind of thing. Um, let's see. Is that it for dive kicks? Oh, she has no limit on how low uh, she has to be when she does these. So you can kind of do a little tiger knee motion uh, dive kick. Works with EX too, but I don't think the EX uh, combos fully, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's not, not very good as a tiger knee thing. Uh, but it's kind of kind of cool. You can kind of get people to bait grabs and stuff like that, or tech grabs. So uh, you don't get a lot of damage from it, but it's just kind of a neat trick in her bag. Uh, is that all I want to talk about for dive kicks? I think so. That's about it there. Uh, let's move into her fireball now. Her fireball is kind of cool. It's a lot different than than everybody else's. Um, a lot of people can charge their fireball, but she can actually walk around with hers. So I have all three charged now. There's the high, medium, and low. Um, uh, the EX, uh, kind of the same thing, you can still pick your EX, which, which way you want to do those, uh, just by pressing different buttons. That's kind of interesting too. For the most part, 99% of the time you'll be charging and holding that light fireball. The reason being it combos the best, so after a crouching medium uh, to a fireball, that's, that's no problem. Uh, it's easier to sacrifice that light kick than it is to sacrifice like that medium kick. Uh, and also, it's just if an opponent is crouching, that medium fireball is going to miss where that low one's going to hit. That's really why I use the light uh, most of the time, and I think most people should. Um, the really only other time you want to throw with the high fireball is if you think you're going to be jumping or uh, against Zangief and some of the taller characters. It actually still hits them in the head so, uh, if they're not even jumping, so that's, that can be a good keep-out tool as well. Um, 
Also keep in mind she has very little recovery time after she throws this. Um, so there's an example of something you can do. I just dash forward and finish that combo. Uh, it's not really practical. It's, it's kind of hard to make someone stand there that long. I just wanted to show you guys how it is, is a lot of good recovery time. So her basic part of her entire game is getting to a great range, like right about out here, and is throwing out fireballs, uh, you know, throwing out pinwheels, making them guess, uh, you know, and just try to get in somehow, and just keeping them out, keeping them exactly where you want them as jury. And that's really her whole game is really utilizing that fireball, because keep in mind her fireball doesn't trade with other fireballs; it goes under it. Uh, and so you're going to be trading like blow for blow, which is why her fireball is a little bit less, only 50, um, but it really is a great keep out, uh, keep away tool. Um, also in the corner, uh, you can get some really good corner pressure going, even instead of blocking, uh, by doing more EX fireballs or just charging fireballs. Uh, it's a great way to keep pressure going as because she doesn't really get pushed out uh, uh, by uh, by the block. Let's see. So here's a here's a classic mix up, uh, landing a fireball and, and then. Uh, I think block would be easier. Uh, so you make them block, and then they decide a grab right here, or uh, a continuation of more uh, low attacks. So kind of a nice little frame trappy combo, uh, whether it'll do the the grab, or uh, or just continue the relentless assault. So because he does have a car grab, it's too. Uh, or she does have a car grab. It's not as intense as Ken's, uh, but it is pretty good. So. And you just do it by pressing the medium punch followed directly by a grab. So, kind of fun stuff. Um, I think that's what I, I want to talk about for her fireballs. I think that's fine. Uh, Alright, we'll get right into her pinwheel then. The light pinwheel is basically your poking pinwheel. It's nice and safe on block. That's what you're going to be doing most of the time. Uh, it's really the really one you want to throw out almost always. Uh, the only time you're going to be throwing out a fierce pinwheel or a medium pinwheel is if you're trying to finish a combo. Uh, so, And that's going to do the most damage for you. Also, the cool part about the fierce or the medium is that it moves them so far. So like we're about half screen here. Uh, if I do this pinwheel, they're basically all the way in the corner. And again, jury's corner pressure is uh, you know something to be feared. So uh, that's really a good part of the pinwheel. So we talked about how do you do a safe one. Because uh, I do a pinwheel here, it's not safe on block. So really you want to just get a good range where you're just barely going to tap them with it. Kind of like a bison scissor kick, where you're just barely in range and that's nice and safe for you. Uh, so really get the hang of either just doing it raw just by itself, or buffering it with it with, it with the light kick or the medium kick as your two best options. Um, let's see, what else about pinwheels? Uh, as far as damage is concerned, the X is going to do the most damage at 180, however the Fierce does 140. Uh, so it's not that much different for the cost of a meter. And again, with that EX, you're not getting them to go all the way in the corner uh, like you are with that fear. So a little bit less distance traveled there. Uh, what else about pinwheels? I think that's about it. Uh, let's talk about the EX and why it's good. The EX is kind of like th is throw immune. It is also kind of her wake-up option. So a lot of times this is going to be you know light attacks, uh, a lot of throws, that kind of thing. Uh, but it is going to lose to things like other uppercuts. It's going to lose to uh, a lot of meaty attacks, like a, cr like a crouching fierce punch from most characters, or at least trade. And if, if you trade, it's only just 30 damage, so it's not a good trading move. You don't want to trade with that if you can help it. Um, that's about it for the pinwheel, I suppose. Uh, but it is her main combo move. Uh, so, so since we're there, we'll talk about her combos next. I want to talk about her counter. I'll finish up with a counter really quick, and we'll go into her combos. Uh, her counter is very different in this uh, in this game than in Cross Tekken. The basically you want to only use the EX version uh, as a wake up. If you do anything else on wake up, you're going to be eating a combo because it's just it has a lot of startup, uh, and so you need to do the EX. Uh, let's have Ken throw a fireball or two. All right. So the EX is nice because you can control the direction it goes. So uh, you can choose to cross up your opponent. Uh, you can choose to go uh, straight back or straight forward. Uh, oops. Or you can choose to go straight up. So yeah, basically I see you have two options. You have the one that goes a cross up. Uh, you want to do this on players that really have not played too much against Jury. They haven't seen this a lot. Uh, that's going to work wonders against them. Uh, if you do it against experienced players who have a lot of experience against Jury, uh, it's, it's going to be very punishable. And against them, just go backwards. Uh, because all you have to do as Ken to punish this is basically do a crouching fierce punch. And then uh, you'll go ahead and punish this. So, Jury's got to be really careful and uh, kind of know your opponent on that one. Uh, basically, how I, if I've never played them before, 
I'll, I'll do the cross up and if they punish it I won't do it again um, and that's really how that works because it's really easy once you play it against jury a lot to, to know how to block that all right uh, let's get into our combos now uh, my favorite combo with jury my favorite hit confirm combo is uh, that one there nice simple combo doesn't matter if they're standing or crouching or anything like that yeah the timing is a little bit more strict than uh, the one most people use which is that one uh, it's the same exact damage though uh, but the problem is Ken has to be standing for this combo to work. So that's, that's really the main difference. Uh, that's her hit confirm combo. Um, you see me, if you see me play online, I do, I do that one a lot just because it's really easy. Uh, if I'm worried about lag or anything like that, that's a nice easy one to, to land. Uh, also, that makes it more easy for some beginning guys to do. You have to end with a medium one though, which is why it does so much less damage. Um, let's see, her punish combo is very easy to do. Just crouching fierce kick to a fierce pinwheel. If you want to squeeze a little more damage, you can do an EX pinwheel. Um, she really doesn't have any uh, much more options than that, though, unless you have fireballs charged, uh, in which case you can do uh, some more things. If, uh, see if you have a fireball charged, land that one a lot. Uh, but again, look at the damage on that. It's, it's not, not that substantial. If you want to get a little more damage, you have to uh, cancel your fireball. So again, you charge a fireball. That's a little bit more damage there, but again, you have to have a fireball charge and two meters. So it's kind of, it's kind of a high priority, whereas just this one, 240 and then not, not that bad for, for what it does. So usually that's going to be your best option. All right, let's get into, uh, that's all the combos I want to talk about. She's got more, of course, but uh, there's a lot of combo videos out there already on Jury. Uh, let's talk about our Ultra 1. Ultra 1 is so important to Jury's game. Uh, there's a lot of great mix-up opportunities in this. The first of them being, uh, just take a look at this little combo here. It's not really a full combo. It's just kind of like a weird frame trappy thing. Uh, this has an overhead like every couple seconds. So they have to block this overhead. Uh, so if they're blocking this overhead, that means they're not blocking low next time. So you can just do like a straight low attack combo like that. Really tricky uh, mix up just right there. So just something to think about because the overhead starts so quickly. Just like you see there. So. That, that overhead is really good in the uh, in the feng shui engine here. Um, after you hit an overhead, uh, you can overhead and do some massive combos. So let's take a look at one of those now. This is the one you should be using uh, after an overhead. 382 damage is colossal uh, after hitting an overhead, and it does it is kind of range specific, uh, but it does do a lot of damage. So a lot of times you're going to be in that range anyway, just from being jury and being fast. Uh, and getting knockdowns and things like that, so that's a really important combo to learn. Uh, it is going to cause a lot of damage for you for no meter. Uh, her ba her best punish combo um, is in this ultra. It's just a kind of a similar setup. That's really your best bet there. And again, not even as much damage as the overhead uh, version of it. So that is her best one, cause just because it utilizes both mediums, both fierces, and a uh, fierce pinwheel. All right, and I think that's about it for the ultra one. That's all I want to talk about. She has a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, just keep in mind, when she's in that Ultra 1 as well, her dash is crazy, it goes like full screen, it goes under some fireballs. I think it goes under Sonic Boom and Goken's Fireball, maybe a couple others, like Sagat's of course. At least the high one, um, but just good stuff there. Also her EX Pinwheel is powered up in this. It doesn't do extra damage, but it has extra invincibility, which is really cool. Uh, so it's a, a bigger threat, uh, so if he uppercuts, it, I don't know, it, it might trade, it might win. Uh, but it's a, it's a better than it, if it was if, if she was not in the ultra. So good stuff there. And I think that's it, guys. Thanks for watching uh, my jury video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it inspires some people to start playing jury because I feel she's a little bit uh, underused. Um, so that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time.